Morning. Just after 6 a.m., Fernando and I are gonna try to get up to the top of the ridge to catch the little sunrise. So one of the fantastic things about Hacienda Zuleta is they have this trail network all over the property and there's these color-coded signs and a map and so you're just free to explore and roam. You don't, it's not a place that you need a guide. Just go off adventuring on your own. It's extremely safe. Fernando and I have hiked up the rabbit trail above the hacienda. We can look down here and see the hacienda building from above 1,700 local people in the community of Zuleta. And you're the largest employer for them, right? Yeah, definitely. We employ a little bit more than a third of the household. Yeah, dairy and tourism are the highest employers. In and what about since the pandemic? I mean, what your full-time staff usually for tourism was around 50 people? Or? Yeah, we, we would have 45 uh, full-time. Right now we have uh, 13 in the tourism. And uh, we have decreased uh, about 70 people in all the different hmm. businesses you now. And I just wanted to elaborate on something I said yesterday. I mean, obviously I'm arriving here and I'm the only guest at the Hacienda, but you know, that was arriving on a Monday. So I'm here midweek. Your weekends, you're full, right? Yeah, weekends uh, is uh, for, for Ecuadorians that travel. So it's, I mean, it's the same in the United States that people are discovering their own country and traveling within. So the same thing has happened here in Ecuador where more people are traveling around inside the country. So that's at least helped you somewhat financially. Yeah, well, now it's a survival game. And every guest that goes by, even with extreme discounts, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's one day more. Okay, so we made it to the top of the rabbit trail and we are now looking down into the San Pedro Valley. This is actually where we were horseback riding yesterday. That is the pyramid that we were on top of yesterday. So from up here, you can get a sense of the scale and size of that thing. So surprise, surprise, more bears. There's another one over there. <laughs> and it's, I think it's the, a uh, big male. I'd never leave home without the drone. <laughs> <laughs> so, a couple times a day they milk the cows. It's always fun to watch the cows being herded into the milking barn and we're gonna follow them in and check out the process. So I had to stop and show you this. Too cute to pass up. They're all the little baby calfies are having their breakfast. Huh? Look at these guys. All lined up. Ah! That's what's so much fun about this place because it's, you know, this is a home and it's a working farm. This isn't a hotel, so there's there's always something going on. There's always something interesting to, a interesting process to watch and seeing that local people work and nothing's put on for show. You're just in like a, a real, experience, which is so rare nowadays. Zuleta, much more famous than Fernando or his grandfather or great-grandfather, are the dogs. So we are producing at Zule in Zuleta right now approximately 8,000 liters of milk a day and some of the milk goes into cheese making. We are producing now 90 varieties of cheese. But, um, milk production in the farm is almost the same as tourism in, in, in the amount of labor that we employ. The pandemic has, has uh, affected us tremendously because 47% of our income came from hotels. Uh, boats, Galapagos yeah, boats, and restaurants, and also big events like weddings and things. Our cheeses were were made for the cheese uh, table, no?
Fantastic, actually another solo traveler just arrived to Zuleta who's coming to stay for four nights. So I'm gonna go talk to her and see if she wants to tell us a little bit about her experience traveling in Ecuador right now. My name is Elizabeth Martins and I'm from Newberry Park, California, Southern California. I'll be here for just under a week. Uh, it, it feels safer to me to travel, to go to the airport, to get on the airplane, uh, the guides that met me at the airport, my journey here. Uh, travel right now, international travel right now is as buttoned up and safe as it can be. Uh, there's no, you know, partial mask, there's no partial cleaning, so it feels, I feel safe, uh, not at risk at all. I think people are going above and beyond measures necessary to keep people safe. My second time to Hacienda Zuleta, second time to Ecuador. Um, this is, to me, the Hacienda Zuleta is the gem of Ecuador. Everyone thinks it's the Galapagos, which are great. This is the gem. Uh, I was only going to come here, but once I got off the plane and I felt the fresh air and remembered how great this place is, I think I'll probably extend my trip. I was talking to my driver, maybe go to the beach, maybe go to the jungle. So I think I'm going to add another week. Go. Don't be afraid. Wear your mask. Use your hand sanitizer. The risk is, is I think, greater going to your grocery store and Home Depot and everyone's doing that at home where things are a little looser. I see more careless touching and moving around and breathing there than I do at the airport, on the airplanes. Um, people that are traveling are, are very conscientious, um, very respectful. This isn't where the risk is. The risk is, is um, feeling depressed and oppressed, not going away, around. So I think it's healthy for you to be honest. So one of the things that the people here in Zuleta are really famous for, the women are master embroiderers. You notice their clothes, just this beautiful detailed embroidery. Zuleta, or the Gala Plaza Lasso Foundation at Hacienda Zuleta runs like a women's embroidery cooperative that helps the women like run their businesses to sell their embroidery well. So as part of this trip, as a way to help the community, I've kind of mobilized uh, all the women here in the community and they're going to be making as many masks as possible before I leave and go back to California. So my plan is to bring back a bunch of masks. So I'll do a separate post on this and I'm going to let you know how many masks I have available and they're going to be first come first serve for those who want to send me money and that money I'm going to send straight back here to Zuleta to the women in the community that made these masks. I'm actually uh, in a workshop here with a woman Tamia in the village and she is showing us how she's embroidering and making the masks. This is the original ledger from Hacienda Zuleta from 1898 to 1900. This asset was bought the 18th of, of February, 16th of February of 1898. They bought six bottles of foreign beer to commemorate the purchase. Well, now you want to see something more cool than that. We don't open this chest for everybody. So here we have, so whenever my grandfather's president or secretary general will come and visit, what is customary is the, the dignitary receives the prizes and keys to the cities of many places in the world. This one is his favorite city. My grandfather lived off and on 23 years in Washington. It was given to him in 1951. So that's the key of Washington, whoever has uh, wondered how it was. <laughs> this is President Truman. My, my grandfather had a very special relationship with Truman, with Nelson Rockefeller. And this is uh, the Legion of Merit, the most uh, prestigious uh, medal that uh, foreign dignitaries can get. So this one, the staff. And this one is of my, of my great-grandfather, I'm sorry, of my great-grandfather. He's holding it in that picture. And look how beautiful. The work. Diamond. Yeah, diamonds. This one is the sash. This is my great grandfather's sword in many battles, not only in Ecuador, in Colombia, in, uh, in Central America. He even was Minister of Defense of Nicaragua. And this is his uh, elegant sword, no? So these doors 
were not here in the beginning. It was in an area where they used to mark the cows of four generations. This is my great, great grandfather. His grand, Jose Manuel Lasso. Son is this one. My great grandmother who inherited this married to Plaza. So it's Avelina Lasso Plaza. Oops. So this funny, this wood, it's 500 years old, but at one time it was like scratch paper for the workers, basically. Exactly, so a cow here, and, and, and before they're going, or they are trying out their new design. Yeah. But I thought it was so fantastic that I decided to put it here. Oh, it's beautiful. So people yeah. see it, no? What would your brand look like? <laughs> Peace and love! <laughs>